Hello on Friday the 6th of August and the Reverend Jason and the Reverend Barbara asked me to make sure that I send their love and their blessings to everyone and they hope that you are having a good week. An opening prayer. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose mercies are new every day. At the end of this working week, let the radiance of the Holy Spirit continue to renew our lives, warm our hearts, give light to our minds, and help us to apply wisdom at all times. Amen. The second, our readings today are from the second letter of Peter, chapter 1, verses 16 to 19, and Luke, chapter 9, verses 28 to 45. I wonder what events you would choose to highlight if you were writing about your life, or maybe the life of another person. There are some people who try to do this far too early in their lives, such as various sports people writing in their early 20s. But in general, the period covered by biography or autobiography is a good number of years. So some sort of filtering process needs to happen. I expect that what's included depends on why you're writing in the first place. Is it because what you have to say is of wider worldwide significance? Maybe it's as an inspiration relating to overcoming adversity. Or perhaps you just want to attract attention to yourself in the misguided impression that other people are interested. Today is when we think about the transfiguration of Jesus, which is an event when, for a short period of time, his physical appearance altered. It's an event which was witnessed by Peter, John and James, and which is spoken about in various places in the Bible because it's a moment of great significance in Jesus' life, which also is significant for our humankind. It took place on a mountain, and those three witnesses were privileged to glimpse the glory of Jesus. However, for Jesus, the event was also highly significant because it was a key moment of preparation for him on his journey to save humankind. That journey to Jerusalem, which culminated in the first Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Whatever the witnesses made of this event, and we are told that they were confused and overwhelmed, they were also instructed to make sure that they listened to Jesus. Important advice for us all. Peter recognised the moment was special because he wanted to keep it, to maintain it forever. But by the time he wrote his second letter, in which there is a clear reference to this event, he has been able to see the bigger picture. He recognises it's a moment where he witnessed Jesus receiving honour and glory and points to Jesus being the light of the world in the dark places that exist. Peter shares this in his letter, not to say I'm important because I was there, but because he recognises how important this event is for the whole world and through the generations. Our next prayer today is one which links on that event of the Transfiguration. 
Father in heaven, who sent Jesus Christ, was wonderfully transfigured before chosen witnesses on the holy mountain, and who spoke of what he would accomplish in Jerusalem. Give us strength to hear his voice and to bear our cross so that the world may see Jesus as he is. Amen. And today's prayer points are to give thanks for all Jesus Christ has done for us. To pray for people who are in a dark place, especially those suffering with mental health issues. And to pray against ongoing mutation of the COVID-19 virus. I now come to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not to the time of trial, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And our blessing for today. Christ our King, make you faithful and strong to do his will, that you may reign with him in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all today and always. Amen.